Hi everybody, Mr. Ballion here, Alexi Ballion. Uh, I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to render out frames from Maya and then import it to QuickTime 7, which is the pro version, and then output it as a MOV file. So we'll have this animation right here in my camera. I'm going to just uh, press play, where you'll see the ball bounce start and take off and come back after the bounces and settle okay that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate right now and uh, let's see how far we go I'm just gonna pause for a second okay so this is the goal right here so right off the bat when we start our file at the beginning of class I need you guys to go and set your project for me right now I'm gonna go to my desktop because it's more convenient for the demonstration purposes so I'm gonna go right here and select my folder and I'm gonna press set this is very important and you'll see why double check by pressing command shift s and make sure it goes into your scenes folder if it doesn't that means you need to go back and repeat the process alright let's go to the fourth clapper and at this point that's your render settings okay and watch up here this to me is the key for you regardless of what computer you are using this is the directory where Maya is actually keeping the images so the first thing I do is I, I name my file uh, I'm gonna call this demo today okay ball bounce demo today so I'll just write demo that's it second image format JPEG very simple quality 100% excellent come down to frame animation extension and go right to the bottom name underscore extension and your extension is technically JPEG okay boom right there padding don't worry about it it's just a two two base right here here's very important frame range start and end find out what your last frame is make sure it's divis divisible by 24 due to 24 frames per second okay here is another part that's super important renderable camera front one so what I did here uh, let's see what this is called let's say I went to wow this is not front one what is going on here let's see front one there's front one <laughs> okay so there's my front one so anytime you're in a situation where you can't find your viewport working properly or it's not just go to orthographic and then uh, select new same name whatever you want and then you can change it over here okay so just to double check so this is called front one I'm gonna come back here front one and you guys in class said you want it to be HD 720 so it is 1280 720 second thing obviously we're rendering in Arnold and we're leaving it really low here 322 that's it Arnold okay so I'm gonna close this now here's something interesting in the past we've always been working in modeling up here the drop down however this time we're gonna to go to rendering okay because there's a different menu up here so rendering and then come back to render and it's the render sequence so just for the sake I'm not gonna touch any of these right now okay so I'm just gonna go uh, render sequence okay and you will see and technically guys we should do a, a test render here um, in the past okay so I'm just gonna pause until all these frames are done and I'll get back to you in the end okay bye for now okay so we're back uh, 193 frames and um, it was a pretty fast render actually so I'm happy so basically what I was trying to say before doing this I would test out um, what I want everybody to remember is that you want to frame your shot okay um, let me just change the view here for a second and let's go to new let's go to front okay so I don't want to see here thick once you select the save frame here I don't want people to actually uh, render out their frame somewhere out there Okay, so it really doesn't help you. You are here to sell your animation skills, and you know what we want to do is have it framed so that we can see uh, our full uh, work. And just to do a test, you can go to IPR here, and uh, it's incredibly fast. And there's your rendering. Okay, less than it's about two seconds. This looks framed. Uh, perhaps in the future I'll make the ball bigger. Okay, it's a lot going on here. Okay, so we finished rendering. That's done question is where did it go again for the sake of review render settings first tab common right here desktop ball bounce and it's in images okay sweet so what I'm gonna do right now is open up QuickTime player 7 and I'm not gonna worry about this pop up here and I'm just gonna go file import image sequence so this also works the same for uh, Premiere as long as you know um, as long as you render out your shots frame by frame so what I'm going to do right now is go to desktop. You'll see what I mean, and I'll continue my explanation there. So character, where is this? 
grade 10, grade 10 here. So it should be inside my images folder. Same for you. Okay, don't go to the end. Don't go to 193rd or whatever your frame, the last frame is. Go to the first frame. Click once only. Press open. And then there's going to be a pop-up asking you, is it 24 frames per second? Absolutely. Here it is. So now QuickTime is going to open this. Press play. Run it. And then feel free to critique yourself. But this is towards the end. I'm not happy. There's a bit of a slide over there. It's not bad. So what I'm going to do right now is save it. Command S. It's going to go back into the images. And look, it's only 5 megabytes. So please name it. Your name. Underscore. Uh, ball. Personality. Okay. Personality. Underscore. Final. Final. Okay. So that's yours. And you submit that where your um, all your progress play blasts will be good to go. Okay, let's just do a quick review here because this recording has only been 5.58. Okay, I'm going to have to stop here. Bye, Bellion out, I guess.